Hello and welcome to uh, Escute. Okay, so we have uh, another bike to unbox and show you. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick um, bit of spiel about it. Obviously comes in a box, very well packaged. Um, it's a two-man lift. It weighs a good 25 kilos as they normally do. Um, I'm going to do you a what's in the box and then I'm going to do a second video if you want to watch that of how you put it together. So I'm going to do an assembly video as well. It's just going to be a quick one. It's not going to be nothing fancy. Uh, probably speed it up a little bit and pop the wheel on and stuff like that. So I've done a couple of these before. Uh, if you want to have a look at the uh, standard uh, Natuno, um, I've got a link, links to videos for that as well. This is the uh, Natuno Pro and it's really, it just turned up Friday, it is now Sunday, so it's two days ago this turned up. Uh, this is the Pro version. Uh, the difference in this bike is it will do up to 80 miles. They reckon it will do 80 miles. It's got a 250 watt Bifang M410 mid-drive. So if you can see the picture on here, on most of the other bikes they have a, a rear hub drive so it's driven from the rear wheel this one's driven from the center from the um the mid drive it should give you a lot more power and you can actually use the gears and power each gear rather than just power in the rear hub um, total capacity it will take is 125 kilos i should be all right for that uh, rider recommended height is 160 to 200 centimeters um, it's got a torque sensor on it uh, charging at 42 volts controller 36 volts uh, it's got a Bifang LCD screen, so I'm very interested to have a look and see what that looks like. Um, it weighs 27 and a half kilos, and you can tell there's a bit of weight in this bike as well. It's got a five pedal assist, one to five, and rear transmission of nine, nine speed. So it's got a nine speed, 11 to 32 teeth rear sprocket. So this one's got nine speed instead of the standard bike, um, which has got six. So we've got an extra three gears on this one to play with. Uh, a max speed of 15.5 mile an hour as well. This will set you back in the region of £1,899 at the moment, saving you £100. Uh, I have actually got a code as well, which is uh, Compton50. Put that in, it should save you £50. Uh, I'm not sure whether it'll save you £50 off the sale price. That's the only problem. Um, but you will get £50 off of any of the bike range. So that's it. Let's get this box open and show you what's inside. If you're going to be using sharp tools, make sure you know what you're doing with them. I use sharp tools at work every day and I'm cutting down the corners of the box. That way I don't damage anything that's inside it. Take these off. Always pull your knife away from you, not towards you. And I also want to give a quick thanks to Jackery. I've got a Jackery down here being charged at the moment as well. So quick thanks to them. Again, open the top. Everything nice and gentle. We don't want to go crazy. You don't want to go silly with it. And we drop it down and you can see inside there, it is very, very well packaged. When you finish with a knife, pop your blade away. It just saves you kneeling on it and stepping on it. So inside here, you can see this is really packaged well. Um, they do wrap these up really tight. Everything's got bubble wrap around it, uh, so it protects everything. Handlebars, fork stem, front wheel, rear wheel's attached, so you've got to attach your front wheel. Your forks are there, all wrapped up nice, padded with foam, and your handlebars are here. All you've got to do is drop your handlebars on the top of your headstock, put your wheels in, and put your pedal on there. You've got a little box in here. This should be all your little uh, incendiary items. So you should have a little toolkit in here. Let's have a little look, show what's in there. So inside the box we have another little box. I'm just trying to see what's inside it. So that's your controller. So you, uh, your power pack, sorry, that's your power pack to charge your battery. You have a rear stand that has to be fitted. You get a tool kit, proper little SK tool kit with all the tools in it, Allen keys, 13, 14, 10 mil. You get a six, a six, a three, five, uh, looks like a two mil uh, Allen wrenches. And you also get a Phillips or posi drive and a flathead screwdriver. Uh, so it's a really nice little kit in that little pouch. So you can keep that on your bike all the time. We've got a battery powered rear light. I wish, I do wish Escute would put um, 
a rear light on the bike, whether it's just a small LED or something, you've got a front light, absolutely amazing. You just switch the power on and the front light comes on, but it really, really, really does need a rear light rather than a battery powered one, which is separate. Because you put that one on and you'll forget to do that, or you put that one on with the power on the front, but you've still got to stop the bike to turn the back one on. Doesn't make any sense. Set of pedals, which we've got to attach, power lead for your power pack and a manual. Now, I don't really need the manual. Uh, manuals are not very good to me because I'm dyslexic anyway, so I don't tend to read them. So I'll put this together without the manual and we'll show you how it works. I need the pedals. I don't need that box, so that can stay over there. So, first thing to do is get this out of here and uh, just show you what's inside the box. So, where do we start? Again, we're gonna use our knife lock it off tight and we're just going to go around and nip off some of these cable ties. You also get some mud guards. So you get a front and rear mud guard. That's pretty cool. Didn't get one of those on the last one. See what color it is, see what it looks like. It's a standard black one. I like the, I like the old seat that had the um, stripes on it to match all this, look quite nice. But uh, this is quite a fancy seat. It looks like it's really cushioned as well. Uh, quick release on the knee, under here, so you can actually higher and lower this very, very easily. So that's quite good. Right, that's it. I've unboxed it pretty much, just to show you what's inside the box. The rest of it will be assembly, and that'll be a different video.